Well, guys, guess what I actually got? That's right. Uh, this is the Nitro Deck Plus. Not the original Nitro Deck, but the Nitro Deck Plus. And today, I'm going to actually unbox the Nitro Deck Plus. I can just... <clears throat> okay, um, I just I just had to uh, take out this cover. Now to actually like unbox the thing. Got the instructions here. You guys ready? You guys ready to see this? Okay. Ta-da! Here it is, y'all. This is what I'm actually talking about. It, it it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And it even comes with the HDMI adapter, which you can actually use uh, with, with the Nitro Deck Plus in order to play on TV mode. Uh, however, uh, do keep in mind that the original Nitro Deck does not actually support TV mode. So even if you plug this HDMI adapter to the original Nitro Deck, um, I don't think it would actually work, uh, even though I have not tested it out yet, so let me actually take this one out. Alright, so, so there you go. So we got the Nitro Deck Plus and also uh, uh, the HDMI adapter. Now, on the back, there are actually like four back buttons, which I'm not sure what they actually do, but I'm pretty sure that, that you can actually like remap those buttons as uh, the A, B, X, Y buttons. And also, what's really cool about this thing is that this thing actually has analog triggers. See? You can like push them like all the way down, like however, however much you want to push them. Looks pretty cool, and and, and yes, uh, this is like the first uh, Switch controller to actually have uh, analog triggers. Now, uh, the Joy Cons and, and, and the Switch Pro controller do not have uh, analog triggers. I think the last uh, Nintendo controller that, that actually has uh, analog triggers is the GameCube controller. Hopefully, the Switch 2 will actually have controllers that have analog triggers and. Hopefully, the Switch 2 will basically have something similar to the Nitro Deck Plus, which also includes the, the, the back buttons, which may also uh, be considered as like extra buttons here. Also on the back, you got the input where you can actually like uh, charge your Switch while you actually play, and the output where you can, you can like plug this thing in in order to play on TV mode. Just like that. Now let me actually get my switch. So I got my switched here, and I'm gonna actually uh, plug this in my Nitro Deck. Just like that. And yes, it fits perfectly. Now, if you ever want to uh, take out the switch from the, from the Nitro Deck Plus. Uh, all you gotta do uh, is push this thing. You push. Okay, just, just like that. So it slides right back in. Slides out. Again, um, if you ever, uh, if you ever want to uh, take out the switch from the Nitro Deck, like all you gotta do is push this thing. And then, yeah, uh, it, it just slides back out. Alright, so, let me see if, if this thing actually works. Okay, looks like, uh, looks like it's paired. Hey, look! Um, it, it actually, it actually works. Um, alright, now, let me see, which, uh, which ones are, are mapped, by the way? Um, 
Oh, wait, 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 hold on. No, I, I don't... No, I, I do not want to start a game just yet. Um, okay, so what we got here... I'm not sure if you can see this, but yeah, these are the S1 and S2 buttons. And, uh, these are the S3, S4 buttons. I'm not sure, I, I'm not sure which ones are actually mapped to, uh, to like one of the A, B, X, Y buttons. So yeah, uh, this is honestly really cool, see? And, and yeah, the Nitro Deck Plus is kind of similar to, to a Steam Deck. Alright, so I got my Steam Deck right here. Now, how does Nitro Deck uh, Plus... No, I, I don't... I do not want to start a game. Okay, um, how the Nitro Deck Plus uh, compares to the Steam Deck is that, well, it also has these back buttons right here and also the analog triggers. Just like that. Let's see what these buttons actually do. Okay, so uh, these ones act as extra buttons. Uh, not sure why that they're there, but um, yeah, this button right here is the home button, and this button right here is the capture button. Yeah, j just like that. Yeah, I would say that um, that overall, this thing has buttons like similar to, to a Steam Deck, but the difference is it is uh, uh, these buttons. Like, on, on the side right here. Looks pretty cool. I'm gonna try to actually connect the, the Nitro Deck Plus to my monitor and see if it actually works. Five minutes later. Okay guys, I'm back. So, uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Apparently, I, I had to pause the recording because apparently I, I was having trouble uh, trying to get the HDMI adapter to work. I'm not sure why I had so much trouble trying to, to get this thing to be displayed on my monitor. But anyway, as you guys can see right here, I'm literally playing my Nitro Deck Plus on my TV mode. As you can see right here. Yeah. It, it, lo it looks really cool, right? Just to test out uh, where the home button works. This is the home button. Uh, and this is the, the, the capture button. Right there. Now, I am familiar with like the majority of these buttons that are actually seen on like a normal Switch controller. But however, I'm not really familiar with these types of controllers as well as the back buttons. Uh, as you can see right here. Now, I'm gonna actually test out to see like where gyro controls work. So, let me just play Tears of the Kingdom just to show you if motion controls really work. Yep, as you guys can see, um, Gyro actually works on the Nitro Deck Plus. It actually works wonders. Like, okay, so so you can so you can just uh, move your control like anywhere you want. Like, where Link is actually uh, aiming uh, his bow. So, um, yeah, it it really works. It really works well. Um, all right, now let me let me just test out the buttons here. Um, okay, so the A button works, uh, the B button, okay, and yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not familiar with the other buttons that are not actually on the regular Switch controller, so just bear in mind with me for, for that. But yeah, every single button actually works kind of like kind of like a regular switch controller and yeah even even gyro actually works anyways um i'm gonna actually show you a, a demo of me playing tears the kingdom just on my nitro deck so let me actually just uh warp to a place where i can kill off some some enemies here all right guys so I'm not sure if you can actually see this pretty clearly, but I'm also playing my Nitro Deck on handheld mode. So watch me kill off all these guys. Alright, watch me kill all of them.
もしろいね。All right, just one more enemy. All right, there we go. So, so we kill off all, all the enemies in the enemy base. Um, that's basically me showing off my uh, uh, Nitro deck and how it actually plays. So, just to recap, job controls work, um, and, and, and this thing uh, uh, basically works like an actual Switch controller. But there are some extra buttons that I'm not really familiar with uh, until I test them out later on. So, this is the home button, and this is the, the capture button. Just try to remember that. Uh, as well as uh, as these back buttons right here, yeah, I'm not I'm not really familiar uh, uh, with those, and they have the the input and uh, uh, output ports. Where for the input you can uh, just charge your device while you play, and for uh, and for the output port, um, you can actually just use the HDMI adapter to plug it into the TV. And also, I I, I had some trouble trying to uh, get it to work, but but still, it it, it really works. I demonstrated that to you guys, and also, uh, just so you guys know, um, yeah, apparently the Nitro deck does not support Amiibo, so yeah, if I ever want to scan Amiibo, then I'm, I'm gonna either have to use uh, just regular Joy-Cons or a Switch Pro Controller, but um, it can't be third-party ones, although I think some of the third-party ones may support Amiibo. I'm not entirely sure, but I do know that, that, that uh, the, the Nitro deck does not support Amiibo. So, yeah, unfortunately, you, you can't scan Amiibo on this thing. But yeah, that's gonna do it for, for this video. I'm actually enjoying the, 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 the Nitro deck plus because it is really cool. So yeah, I, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If y'all enjoyed it, uh, please uh, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if y'all enjoyed it. And as always, I'm Malwumi, and peace, everyone.